Okay, so we've been told that router one is not able to ping router four. And we can verify that by pinging router four from router one. Notice the pings are failing to router four. Now we could try and trace to router four, but notice uh, the packets are being dropped immediately. The packets aren't even leaving the router. And we can prove that by using a debug, so debug IP packet. And then we can try and ping or trace to router four. And what you'll notice is packets to router four are unreachable or unroutable. So the router is not even sending those packets into the network. It's simply dropping them because they are unroutable. And that's because network four doesn't display in the IP routing table. In the IP routing table, we see that the loopback of router two is displayed. So we can ping the loopback of router two. We can ping router two directly and we can ping gigabit 001 on router two. That's because we have an EIGRP neighbor relationship to router two and because we've learnt those routes, they are in the EIGRP topology database and have been put into the IP routing table. So it looks like we have a problem between router two and router three because we can ping that IP address, but we can't ping this IP address. So we can ping this IP address 10121, but not 10122. So let's have a look on router two. On router two, show IP EIGRP neighbors. We only have a neighbor relationship to router one. There's no neighbor relationship to router three. That's a problem. Can we ping a router three? Yes, we can. So we seem to have IP connectivity between router two and router three. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. EIGRP is enabled on this interface, so that's good. But again, we don't have a neighbor relationship to router three. Show IP protocols shows us that EIGRP on router two is enabled in autonomous system 100. The router is routing for these networks. We see this gateway, which is router one. Now on router three, show IP EIGRP neighbors. No neighbors are shown on router three. So that's obviously a problem. Show IP EIGRP interfaces. Notice EIGRP is only enabled on the loopback interface. The autonomous system number used on router three is 100. That's the same autonomous system that router two is configured to use. So it's not an autonomous system number problem. The problem is that EIGRP is not running on the interfaces of router three. So show IP protocols. Can you see the problem in the output as shown here? So again, I used the command show IP protocols. Can you see the problem based on the output in this command? Pause the video now if you need more time. Okay, so notice this routing for networks 10 000 slash 24. That's a problem because the networks we have here are 10120 slash 24 and 10130 slash 24, not 1000 slash 24. Debug EIGRP packets. What you'll notice in the output here is EIGRP is not running on the interfaces. We're not seeing any output, so I'll use the command logging console so again, debug EIGRP packets, we are seeing updates out of the loopback, but we are not seeing any EIGRP messages being sent out of this interface or this interface. We only see messages for the loopback. I'll do an unall here, and that's because EIGRP is not running on any interfaces apart from the loopback interface. So show IP protocols shows us that we didn't enable EIGRP on gigabit 000 or gigabit 001. 
and we can work that out by using show run pipe section eigrp that command doesn't work in packet tracer so we have to use show run and notice the network command here that is wrong that should be 10120/24 and 10130/24 so i'll remove that network command it should be added this way if we're going to use that mask and it needs to be added this way for the gigabit 001 interface so now show run notice these two commands are correct and we can prove that by using the show ip eigrp interfaces command notice eigrp is now running on both the gigabit interfaces show ip eigrp neighbors we see two neighbor relationships show ip route we see routes in the routing table so back on router 2 show ip eigrp neighbors we now see a neighbor relationship to router 3 on router 1 show ip route we suddenly see eigrp routes to network 3 and network 4 so hopefully this router can ping router 3, which it can. And hopefully it can ping router 4, which it can. We have successfully resolved the issue in this network. Be careful with your network statements. EIGRP supports multiple network commands. You could do it this way as an example to enable EIGRP on both interfaces. But you could also do it this way. You could even use 10.1.2.0.0.0.0 if you prefer. The network command essentially tells EIGRP on which interfaces to enable the routing process. Now it doesn't make sense to do it the way I've done it here, where you type the command multiple times using different methods. Simply stick to one method. So what I'll do is simply remove EIGRP and then re-enable it. But I'll put it back to the way I had it before, like this and like this. Just make sure that you know the various EIGRP options for the network statement. I've now simply set it back to this configuration, but make sure that you understand how network statements work for the CCNA exam. The great thing with Packet Tracer or GNS3, or if you have access to physical equipment, is you can try different things and see what it does. So just try options and see if EIGRP is enabled on the interfaces. So try a network command and then use the show IP EIGRP interfaces command to verify whether EIGRP has been enabled on the relevant interface.